actually, I can hear the tune in that. As an IT professional, 35-year-old Simon Samuels was on to a good thing, but it just wasn't enough. We're using it for us, Simon. Um, you know, I can hear it, but I can't actually sing right now. But, um, you know, it is all in here. So, a cup of tea? No. No? Simon has just finished a year of recording his debut pop album. I always do that. Mix that up. Oh, a bit of a plug if I could. Do you mind? This is the new album. Look at that. We've gone for, um, for the first one, like, you know, it's just self-titled. I was toying with the idea of calling it Simon Samuel Sings. It's got a nice sort of tone to it. But, you know, I've got these advisors and they said, just roll with Simon Samuels just for the, you know, self-titled. That'll do the trick for the first one. So we went with it. Tell you what, let's move out. Let's go uh, upstairs. Well, I'll say upstairs, just around the corner. To the uh, Amour Chamber, which is a uh, French day. So that's fun. A snatch match. Bring the old uh, thing out of the lock. Oh, this is. It's okay. Come on, let's go. Last week, Simon's wife of 10 years walked out on him. It's a great performing outfit. Do you mind me asking what kind of IT salary you gave up to pursue this? Yeah, sure. Uh, not much. 35 grand. He wants to work every day for 35 grand. Right. Right, let's get this baby open then, yeah? Grand unveiling. It's been a... Uh, it's it. It's been, um... It's been fantastic. Um, because I've been working, well, 50 grand, right, only 50 grand bought me time with the producer, B-Boss Broom. Yeah, he's all the big guys, all the big guys. And who's that in the picture, Simon? It's Ringo Starr. Uh, the other picture. It's Karen. You know, I tried to talk around a bit, but oh, women. But you know, it's great being back in control. And she'll regret it when I'm charting. Oh, that's, uh... Is that still on? Yeah, uh, Decky, he like uh, engineered the sessions, um, asked me if I wanted to smoke a line of coke. I wouldn't get that in the office now, would I? Yeah. And did you snort a line? Yeah, yeah, I'm into all of that. And how much are you making now? Well, it's not about making money, not right now, is it? It's all about... The music. Ah, look at that. There she is. He is. Simon's there. Have you got that in? Is that in? My face, so which side do you want it on? You were tight, man. You used to come in every Saturday, <laughs> always had these grand plans, twinkle in his eye. He just loved the music. Hi. I thought you said like one o'clock. It is one o'clock. Is it? Yeah, yeah, late night, man. Yeah. 
just can't help it, you know, it's in the genes. Uh, Carol, you know, she'll be back as soon as this thing starts selling. She, yeah. Simon believes that if he can sell 100,000 copies of his debut album, Carol will return to their relationship. I'm actually on a low, you know, no dairy thing anyway. So it's all, it's all right. This thing is going to explode. Can we hear the single silent? No. Unfortunately, you can't. No one can. Not until it's released. But you still get first radio, yeah? Probably radio one, actually. Without a record label, Simon is in charge of distributing his own album. All of the UK's major music retailers have refused to stock Simon's album. They claim that without a substantial public profile, Simon will not be able to sell enough copies through their stores. Some of them was brilliant, but deluded. I mean, it's hard, you know. We all love the music, but you got to have your shit together. <laughs> I mean, to quit your job like that. I almost respect him. I remember back in the 70s with mole milk. This was our test pressing. We toured round and round. We had a great set. Great record too. I was working at the library three days a week. But I didn't quit my job. These days, if it wasn't for all the people downloading, I, I mean, there'd still be an audience for people like Simon and me. Today, Simon auditions for a major record company executive in central London. The audition will decide whether his album can reach a wider audience. This is his last hope for a signing. How are you feeling, Simon? Are you nervous? Nervous? Solid as a rock. Okay. Simon Samuel sings, eh? Come on, I have an album! 
Simon? Are you back now, are you? That wasn't a second, was it? I don't know, what, what are you guys doing? I mean, I've, had, sure, I've had three letters off you in the last week. Can, can you please just believe in me, right? I mean, this album is going to be the best album since uh, What's the Story, Morning Glory, all right? You wouldn't send letters around trying to repossess Liam or Noel's house, would you? After spending the last year recording with producer B-Boss Broom, Simon now needs to sell his record. He's decided to tour. I wish he had said something. I mean, he had us all believe he was... Could have done something. Let's take your time. He's just another muse though, he's gone. After our interviews three months ago, Simon mysteriously went missing. Authorities have been notified, and no one has seen him since. Simon was last seen outside Liverpool's famous Cavern Club, where he is believed to have been paying tribute to his singing hero, Richard Starkey, MBE. Simon? Is that you? We finally found a man resembling Simon working as a street sweeper in North East London. Excuse me, sir. Are you Simon Samuels? Huh? Who? No? Ah, oh, Paul Peters. I'm not becoming novelist. But you work on the street? Yeah. By day. It's research, actually. Um, it's about this guy. He's kind of lost. And he finds this girl. Well, that's as far as I got, but, um... It's going to be great. Definitely book a material. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs>